Okay, next equipment review. Well, piece of equipment review. 1958 John Deere 720 gas. Uh, this is a lookout right over the hood. That red, um, red cap there is for the gas. And the one way down there at the end is for where it's where you put the um, uh, the uh, oil for the front end. Um, tractor. These this is the second set of tires we put on it. Um, they're 1985, both from 1985, and they were put on. This is all your gears here. <clears throat> all your gears here. And this is how many hours it's got on it. Oh, alright. This here is for... I, I get mixed up on these, so correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this is for the um, linkage, and this is for the PTO. Correct me if I'm wrong. I I can I don't remember. These are the brakes. That's for transmission oil right down there, right at the top, tip of my finger. I don't know if you can see it. First, second. You gotta come over here for third. And come back down for fourth, fifth, and sixth gear. And here's reverse. This is your key and choke. And this is for your lights, I believe, right here. Um, yeah, uh, one second, let me demount from the tractor. Yeah, epic, or well, epic, well, mighty John Deere. Um, 720 power steering. Um, if anyone wants to, uh, a minute, let me cover that up. Anyone wants to, um, Look up that serial number. That's the serial number for this tractor. The carburetor's been rebuilt. Uh, it's got weights. Big, big weights. These are made in Moline, Illinois. Um, this was on a farm. It's always been owned by us. We moved from a farm. And now we are currently somewhere in America. So, <laughs> somewhere in America. I don't want to share where but if you know me then you will know where i'm at um my great grandfather he bought this tractor in 1958 when my grandpa was 12 years old and um here's top link is not missing it's in the other garage with kubota if you've seen that video yet I'm not sure if you have but here's everything here and I have one more, oh, or a couple more things. Here's a PTO. Solid. Solid PTO. Um, up here under the seat, this thing hasn't been repainted. Under the seat here, the seat, uh, the batteries are under there. And then start procedure. Uh, uh, get the batteries good, ready to go. Turn the, the power on. Then you got Turn that fuel shutoff line and make it turn it on. You gotta pet, press this pedal, and that's how you start this tractor. I've done it a couple times. I, know, I haven't done it too terribly many times, but that's this tractor. This is why I started my channel to review John Deere and many other um, tractor companies. And I will be making one more video after this. So see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.